Hi, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be looking at more examples from chapter 7.1, the midpoint of the line joining two points. So in example 2a, we're given the coordinates of three points, a, b, and c. And these three points form a triangle, as you can see from the sketch over here. Next, we are told that point P is the midpoint of AC. So this means that AP is equals to PC. Okay, and we are also told that Q is the midpoint of BC. So this means that CQ, distance CQ, is equals to distance QB. Now, we are asked to write down the coordinates of P and Q. So P is the midpoint, so midpoint of AC. Okay, and uh, in order to calculate midpoint, I will take the, I will, or rather I will use the midpoint formula. So let me just highlight it over here. So this is the midpoint formula. Okay, so midpoint formula says that I will take the x coordinate of A, which is negative 2, plus the x coordinate of C, which is 4, divided by 2, comma, the y coordinate of A, which is 7, plus the y coordinate of C, which is 9, divided by 2. Okay, and uh, pressing this into my calculator, I will just arrive at 1, comma, 8. Now that, that wasn't too difficult, right? So let us move on to find coordinates of Q. So similarly, we'll be making use of the midpoint formula. Now, Q is the midpoint of BC. Okay, so now we will take the X coordinate of B, which is 6, plus the X coordinate of C, which is 4, divided by 2, comma, the Y coordinate of B, which is 1, plus the Y coordinate of C, which is 9, divided by 2. Okay, and uh, pressing this into my calculator, I will just end up with the points 5, comma, 5. So therefore, the coordinates of Q is 5, 5, and the coordinates of P is 1, 8. Okay, so I think um, this is just a simple application of the midpoint formula. Okay, let's move on to example 2B. So example 2B asks, is AB equals to 2 of PQ? So essentially, it's the distance AB twice that of distance PQ. So in order to do this, okay, or rather in order to, uh, to prove this, okay, we must first prove that triangle CPQ is similar okay, to triangle CAB. Okay, and this can be proved based on the angle 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 property okay how, how are we gonna prove this okay let me let me go ahead and prove this for you so you can see that angle PCQ so angle PCQ is equals to angle ACB okay because of the same angle okay the same angle now previously we we were told that point P is the midpoint of point or rather is the midpoint of line AC therefore okay therefore we can say that okay sorry and rather and also point Q is the midpoint of line BC so therefore we can say that these two angles are the same okay so angle CPQ is equals to angle CAB Okay, and therefore we have just proven that based on the angle 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 property, these two triangles are similar. Okay, now let's move on to look at the properties of similar triangle. So since these two triangles are similar, okay, let us write out the relationship between the two triangles. So CP over CA should be equals to PQ over AB, okay, and this should also be equals to CQ over CB. Okay, so staring at this, okay, the next thing I want to do is to realize that I'll be making use of this portion 
and particularly this portion as well okay so let me just highlight it for you okay the next thing I want to realize is that since P is the midpoint of AC then the ratio of CP is to CA should be exactly 1 is to 2 okay since P is the midpoint so therefore this is just 1 over 2 equals to PQ over AB cross multiplying this equation I will have AB equals to 2 PQ okay and therefore the answer to this question is yes AB yes is indeed equals to 2 PQ okay and that's all for example 2B moving on example number 3 the coordinates of the midpoint of the line joining C and D are 5 comma 2. Find the possible values of A and B. So in this example, we will also be using the making use of the midpoint formula highlighted in yellow over at the top left hand corner of your screen. So the coordinates, so, so the midpoint, so midpoint of C D can be calculated, it can be calculated this way, which is the x coordinate of c plus the x coordinate of d over 2 comma the y coordinate of c which is a divided sorry plus the y coordinate of b d sorry over 2 okay and this is actually 5 2 as given in the question so this is actually 5 of 2 now from here i can break this up into two separate equations so to make it more obvious to you let me use a let me use a, a highlighter so this portion is equals to 5 and uh, this portion over here is equals to 2 okay because the coordinates correspond accordingly Okay, so a square plus b square over 2 is equals to 5 and from here I can simplify so a square plus b square is equals to 10 and over here a plus b over 2 is equals to 2 okay so simplifying I have a plus b equals to 4 and a equals to 4 minus b okay substituting this substituting this equation okay let's call this equation number 2 into equation number one so supping two into one i will have four minus b square plus b square equals to 10. again okay, we can simply simplify this using the using the special algebraic formula so let me just uh, write it down for you just in case you've forgotten so a minus b square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, so this is just this. Okay, simplifying, sim simplifying this even further. Okay, so 16 minus 10 is just uh, 6. Okay, and uh, b square minus 4b minus 3 is 0. Okay, let me just continue over here since I'm out of space. So I have b give me the minor error over here this should be plus okay so i should have b minus 3 b minus 1 i can factorize it and therefore b is just 1 or 3 okay and uh, using equation number 2 over here i can find my values for a Okay, so the corresponding values for A should just be 4 minus 1, which is 3, or 4 minus, minus 3, which is 1. Okay, so therefore, A equals to 1, B equals to 3, or A equals to 3, B equals to 1. Okay, so you have two sets of solutions for this particular example. 
Okay, so with this example, I've come to the end of chapter 7.1. Okay, just to summarize, given the coordinates of two points to be A and B, I can move on to find the midpoint of AB, the distance of AB, as well as the gradient of AB. Okay, and before we end off, just want to leave you with some practice questions. You can pause the video here and take them down. And uh, last but not least, just want to thank you guys for watching this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. See ya!